Hi guys, Michelle Myers here with Front Door Realty and today we're going to be talking about that is so 2018 and I'm referring to the most outdated home selling advice that you should now ignore. There's one more thing scarier than buying a house and that's selling a house. There's a lot of pressure to list your home at the right price and to portray it in its best light. Um, so you might find yourself reaching out to a friend for some advice, um, but what worked for your friends or somebody that you know that have sold in the past might not work for you now because the market is currently changing and it's always evolving. So what worked for your friends or someone you know in the past that sold might not be the best choice now. Waiting for spring to sell your home. Odds are that you've heard that selling in the spring is the best time to sell. Um, of course, that's when a lot of buyers are going to be out and about shopping for homes and it's a lot easier for parents as well that have kids in school to move in the spring or summer. But in, our, in actuality, you are going to be competing against a very large pool of sellers at that time as well. So it's very, very important that when you're selling in the spring that you price and market your home flawlessly um, to make sure it sells as quickly as possible. In today's market, you really need to be realistic about what is selling for what in your specific neighborhood um, because the market decides what it's willing to pay for a home, leaving room to negotiate. Another reason sellers were pricing so much higher a few years ago was because they were hoping that buyers would come in and negotiate, um, but buyers nowadays just aren't willing to play that game. Um, if you're not priced right just to begin with, you're not going to be getting that many people through the door and you're not going to be selling your home. So you have to price your home well. Selling your home as is. Also a few years ago, sellers were told a lot to not really do any remodeling to their homes um, because buyers are gonna wanna come in and make it their own and customize it themselves. Um, but in reality, we have a lot of millennials entering the market currently, and a lot of them want something that's turnkey and ready to go. Even though home prices are continuing to go down, Buyers are still willing to pay top dollar for homes that look the part, so it would make sense to put in the extra effort and elbow grease before you put that for sale sign up. Amateur photos of your home are fine. That is simply not true. Photos taken by yourself um, or with your phone just simply aren't going to cut it. You really need professional photography. How your property looks online will directly impact the number of buyers who will be interested in purchasing your home. Once again, my name is Michelle Myers. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you do have any other questions about this topic or any others, you're welcome to reach out to our office directly at 360-989-3390. Have a great day.